You know, the great thing about having grown up as a performer is I can just turn it on. I've gone through a depression episode, so I'm going to my doctor um, and we're going to sort it out. On Thursday night, I went to Magical Gem. My friend and I went and had tarot readings because they had their tarot night that they have. So, and the thing is, it's like, even though it's my profession, I I can receive messages and stuff and talk to the dead by myself, but I can't really read tarot for myself because I'm too attached to the outcome, of course. But uh, so I went first and then my friend had her reading and then I was like, and then I just went on a shopping spree, which I didn't have the money for. So, but anyway, I thought I'd show you guys what I got there. So uh, these are my rings that I have anyway. So just as you this is a thumb ring i got for i think 19th or 20th birthday or something um always wanted a thumb ring so i got a nice good one and then this is my dad and my brother have one as well it's like a family crest sort of a thing oh, i don't know if i can let you guys see there um it's a horse and initially it was a pinky ring that my dad had and then um my brother and i got copies and now we all wear them and then this is a snake ring that I got. Well, my mom actually got it for me in Covent Garden in London. Um, and the reason it was important because obviously snakes, Hecate, transformation, all of those things. Then I saw these at Magical Gem and I got them as well. So this is obviously sacred geometry. So I wear it there now with the snake. And then this I thought was amazing because it's moon. Uh, let's see if I do this. There you go, the moon, stars, all of that. And so I've been wearing it here. So I'm happy with how that hand looks and how this hand looks. Eventually I'm just gonna be one of those crazy gypsy women that just have like a million rings on. Uh, okay, but what else did I get at Magical Gem? This is amazing. Yo, I don't think, I'm not even gonna start with this because it's too incredible. So just some basic witchy stuff. I ran out of candles. So I've got some, oh, I've got some spell candles. So I just got a pink one for when people ask me to do love spells or self-love stuff. Black one, and that's for like banishments, but it's also for dark moon stuff and, and the darker stuff. And then a green one, obviously abundance, money, general. So I got those and they're nice and big so they'll last a while and then um, I love stickers so I got these really cool stickers I got this pretty one and Bastet and the sun so happy with those then what's the oh ran out of sage so I got myself a nice big, a nice big white sage. And then I also got myself some, I think this was dragon's blood. If I'm not mistaken. I think it may be dragon's blood or it's just a red sage. I've forgotten. But y'all need incense for protection. And then I've been like listening. I mean, I'm always listening to witchy podcasts. Always. They were saying as well how frankincense and myrrh also have like effects on us that make you like calmer and more in tune and everything. I've always known frankincense is very, very good for that, uh, but I didn't realize how deep it can go. And especially if you use the resin. So instead of just buying the general incense, I actually got some frankincense res resin and I got some myrrh resin and I've got my little bowl that I can burn them in. So that's cool. And then because I've been struggling, <laughs> I got myself an abundance aura mist. So this, there's stuff in it. So basically what's infused with Reiki, magic, and love. So this basically has sweet orange, patchouli, frankincense, cinnamon, star anise, basil, rosemary, uh, camelchium, ethanol, dissolved water, citrine, uh, clear quartz, and adventurine. And I love citrine and adventurine. And clear quartz is obviously great. So let's give myself a little spritz.
feeling nice and abundant. <laughs> and then the last thing, is it the last thing? Yeah. The last thing I got at Magical Gem, which I'm so excited about. I saw it and I was just like I'm buying and I couldn't believe its price. It's a wand, guys, a proper wand. So what I've been using, I have a selenite stick that broke in half. So I just use that usually. But now I've got a proper wand. Look how beautiful. And obviously I'm a Leo and I love lions. So, and oh, it just feels amazing. I love it. I love it so much. I'm so excited about it. When I was looking at a Hikate, I was like, I want. So I was like, okay, cool. We're getting it. So that's what I got at Magical Gem. I'm really, really excited about all of this stuff. Nice little bit of retail therapy. Actually, the weekend showed a lot of really exciting prospects. Possibly have a kind of a job interview sort of thing coming up. So that's, um, I'm super amped about that. So I'm going to start setting that up today. Some ideas have come to mind. I don't want to say in case it doesn't happen, but there may be some sort of travel, some stuff like that. So yeah, there's a lot of things going on that have come to light over the weekend that I am busy dealing with and making happen, hopefully. Today, like I said, I'm going to my doctor and then I will, I think I'll go to the gym. Oh, and on the weekend, guys, for the first time, I finished a song. <laughs> the first time in a year, I did it. Go me. So I need to, uh, I mean, it, it's not done by any means. It needs a lot, a lot, a lot of work. But the basics are there. The building blocks are there. I just need to decide how to, you know, make it pretty now, which I'm very happy about. So there's a lot to be grateful for. Okay, I just got back from the doctor. Not gonna tell you all what he said until it's confirmed. But anyway, we think we figured things out. I'm gonna head to the gym now. I'm gonna do the proper nice self-care gym session uh, where I think I'll do a lot of stretching, just take it slow, do a few things that I just enjoy doing, and then I'll sauna. But I'm not gonna shower there because the last few times I've showered there, the water collects at the bottom by my feet. And I just don't know if I'm like, showering in other people's water that's come up or something i don't know it grosses me out so i'm not going to do that um and i'll get a smoothie there i was going to make my own but i'm running out of time so i will get a smoothie there uh, i'm cooking dinner tonight so you get to watch another cooking vlog <laughs> I'm gonna tell you all what I just went through while I sort out my medication. So basically, I'm separating my meds because now there's a slightly adjust a slight adjustment to them. But anyway, my brother came here on holiday because he's now living in Hong Kong, and he signed up at Virgin Active and was told, "Oh, you can get the one month deal from Mohammed, who I will name and shame." And Mohammed told my brother that they are having a one month thing and the contract automatically cancels. So he said, don't worry, I'm going to get you to sign this one year contract, but it's only it only lasts for a month. Mohammed was a shyster and the contract kept going and they kept demanding money from my brother. And then my brother co-hosted his account. So then they threatened to take him to their legal department and everything. And Mohammed quit. And my brother is not the only one Mama did this to. He did it to a whole bunch of people and left them all in this situation. What he could have gained, I do not know from doing this. So that's part one. I then had my brother tried to cancel this, tried to email the, the departments, tried to sort it out, was hearing nothing, nothing, nothing. So then I go and I become a bulldog or a chihuahua, whatever you want to name it. And I say, can I speak to the woman in charge? Uh, first, I get put through to the one guy and I, say, I tell him the whole situation and everything. And then he's like, OK, cool. Um, my supervisor's the only one that can help you. And she's on leave, but she gets back on this day. Anyway, here's her email. Long story short, 
the way every time these people that I tried to speak to them would casually stroll, make me wait half an hour, only send the email like as when they knew that I was like asking to speak to them. Um, and I, t t today I lost my shit because like the amount of time these people make you wait, yes, we'll call you, don't call me. So much went on. So eventually I, today, today, like this is after like weeks of trying to sort this out and them just being like, yeah, and doing absolutely nothing. So then eventually today I was like, okay. And I screamed the whole of Virgin down to the point that the chick was like, should we go somewhere else? I'm like, no, just fix it. I was furious i was so angry and then you know what it got sorted which sucks and i'm telling you that this is because of my size if i wasn't so small people would take me more seriously but because i'm the size of a dot people don't take me seriously and they're like oh yeah it'll be fine you know she'll she'll just back off she's small she's a good little girl and it makes me so angry because no do what I'm asking you to do. We were put into a situation that wasn't our fault. And then and my brother like could possibly be completely screwed over with like a black mark against his name for something that wasn't his fault at all. And the thing is, it was just how I was treated. I was made to wait like half an hour every time that I wanted to see them. How they would casually stroll, say we'd call, don't call, say we'll email, not email, all this stuff. And then to use the weakest excuses, it really... Yeah, it, it shook me up the wrong way. Let me say that much. Anyway, that's what happened. All right, so tonight I'm going to be making Nigella Lawson's ultimate Greek salad and then also her crispy lamb chops. So for this, you chop up some red onion, you add some red wine vinegar, olive oil, salt and pepper as per usual. And this just really helps the onions marinate and really changes their flavor to something super enjoyable. And it softens them as well. Then with the tomatoes, you chop them up and tomatoes are my ultimate favorite food. I have just simply love them so much and we got the exotic flavor ones and then what you do with these is you set them aside you put some sugar on them some salt and then you're done basically and you also set them aside to just transform then of course no greek salad's good without a cucumber and i always i love mine salted i'll eat this even just like as a snack sometimes salted cucumber it's the bomb and then it, this isn't a typical ingredient but i thought why not add some avo we had some in the fridge anyway so i chopped that up and added that to the salad and of course feta cheese and isn't that just so satisfying to watch it being cut and then yeah i added all of that to the salad and set that aside now it was time to get onto my lamb so i did wash my lamb i don't know if you're supposed to do that but i did and i put some cling film on the bottom and then on the top because up next comes my favorite part i feel like i'm harley quinn with my mallet and i just get to smash the shit out of these things which is a lot of fun you want to just basically flatten it a bit so that the meat's a bit wider for the rest of the process of this this meal shall i say and obviously you want to cover it with the cling film just so that you don't have meat splattering all over yourself and the kitchen of course then it was time for the coating i suppose so yeah weighed out the right amount of bread and then put it in the zhuzhah the food processor and just made that into a bunch of bread crumbs as you can see i actually had to use a lot of bread because i love mine covered like covered properly and then some parmesan as well inside just to give it like that lovely flavor and then i mixed the two of them i may have done too much of the breadcrumbs because in the past i haven't had enough so i overdid it then i went to my veggie patch and uh, all my carrots are coming out now i'm very excited except I guess I didn't grow them properly so a lot of them have become mangled and a lot of them look like mandrakes 
but I grew them and I am proud and I am excited. So I was adamant to add some carrots to this dish. These ones really got tangled with each other, but I did get quite a few decent sized ones, but you can see here, this that was like a freak of nature. They all just joined together. Anyway, it ripped off the stems. This actually took a really long time getting rid of all the hairs, the skin, because also they were like weird shapes and things like that. So it was difficult. And then I chopped all of them up nice and small. And then it was time to start cooking. So there was some butter and some honey in the pan there and obviously some salt and then ginger. I forgot to show you guys that I'd grated some ginger oh, and water. And then I added the carrots in there. And then it was time to make the egg mixture. So you basically just beat two eggs and you add some salt and pepper and you dip your lamb chop into that so that it's nice and sticky. And then you cover it with the bread, crumb and parmesan mixture. Oh, and I forgot you're supposed to add salt and pepper in there too. I didn't do that and I had to add it on afterwards. And then it fries nice and sizzly. And you can see it's like literally three minutes aside. If that, it really cooks really quickly and super well. I'm getting hungry again just seeing this and then my carrots smelled so amazing then by this time it'd been hours so i'd definitely the onions and the tomatoes were ready so i just mixed my salad nicely together and 